the fall of Jerusalem. <clears throat> All the kings of Judah kept on being wicked. And really after Josiah died, they didn't have any good kings. They kept on worshipping idols. They refused to listen to the words of Jeremiah the prophet. They persecuted Jeremiah, put him in the dungeon. They didn't want to listen to the word of God. And eventually, God eventually took them away into captivity. So, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came along with his army against Jerusalem and they camped all around it and built forts against it. They built fort, sort of uh, big wooden structures against the walls so they could get in to Jerusalem. Like, what would it be? How would it, what, what would it look like? Well, it would look like a, a sort of a big wooden tower that had been just built next to the big stone walls of Jerusalem. And then like a little bridge that carried soldiers across Yeah, it. something like that. So the city was captured by the 11th year of King Zedekiah. Like the Romans had. Yeah, although this is before the Romans, mm -hmm. this is the Babylonians. The famine was so severe in the city, there was no bread for the people. <clears throat> Eventually, a hole was made in the wall, and all the men of war ran away by night by the, the, the gate that was near the king's garden. Now, the Babylonians were camped all around the city. So it's pretty, pretty dangerous to try to do that and not get caught. The king went by the way of the Arabah, but the army of the Chaldeans chased after the king. Now, Chaldeans is another name for Babylonians. The army of the Babylonians or Chaldeans, they chased after the king Zedekiah and overtook him in the plains of Jericho and all his army was scattered from him and they took the king. He must have been thinking as those soldiers arrested him and grabbed him, if only I'd listened to Jeremiah and God's word. He didn't. So they carried Zedekiah to the king of Babylon at Bibla. They killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. They put out the eyes of Zedekiah and made him blind and they bound him in iron chains and carried him to Babylon. And the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, sent Nebuzaradan, the captain of his army, and he came to Jerusalem and he burnt the house of God, that is the temple, and the king's house and the houses of Jerusalem, every great house, when all those rich, powerful people had lived, it was all destroyed by fire, and they broke down the walls that were around Jerusalem. So it took Ezra and Nehemiah all those years later to come back and build them up again. So the people were taken captive into captivity in Babylon. This is at the time when Daniel and his friends are taken into Babylon. So they took children as well. But they left just some of the very poorest people of the land to work the vineyards and the fields. They carried away all the different vessels of brass and of gold and silver which had been used in the temple of God. They took them back to Babylon. You remember that night with Belshazzar having his feast when the writing appears on the wall, they were using those very things that have been captured from the temple in Jerusalem to get drunk with and to worship their idols with. And so all this sad destruction happened because they would not listen to God's word, because they would not repent, and because they thought that they could just live day by day doing what they wanted to do, without thinking about what God wanted and without taking seriously God's word. God really didn't want this to happen, but it did happen. So then, <clears throat> when all the captains of the bands of soldiers heard that the king of Babylon had made a man called Gedaliah, the governor, they came to him in Mizpah. Ishmael and Johanan and Saraiah. Gedaliah promised them and said, Don't be afraid because of the servants of the Babylonians. Live in the land and serve the king of Babylon and it will be well with you. But then Ishmael, 
who was related to the, the family of the king. I suppose he wanted to uh, be the king, the next king of Judah. He came with ten men and killed Gedaliah so that he died. And the Jews and the Babylonians that were with him at Mizpah. So then all the rest of the Israelites then ran away, or the people from Judah ran away into Egypt. Even though actually Jeremiah told them not to. Because going down into Egypt is always a bad thing. So it's all very sad how it all finished and ended so badly. But this is what will happen to everyone who refuses to put God first. And to everyone who will not listen to God's word. Who just thinks, as they said to Jeremiah, that, yeah, yeah, say what you want, yeah, but we're going to do what we want. If that's our attitude, this will be our sad end, just like it was. And all these things are there for our learning, for us to learn from, for us to realize that life is serious. Then 